Hello. Good morning. Welcome to Math Today. Today we are going to do page um, five and six in our math journal. And you guys <clears throat> are super smart, and I know that you can do patterns. So these Christmas lights are going to be patterns. But you have to pay attention to the letters at the top. This says A, B, B. So that you need a color for A and you need a color for B. And we've done A, B, B before, so you just do one for A and then two for B, right? And you just keep doing that pattern over and over. You can choose whatever colors you want, just A, B, B, right? So you'll do that. But then when you get to the second row, it says, no, you try to forget this one, okay? Because we're doing something different from this one. Now it's A, A, B, C. A, A, B, C. So choose a color for A and do two for two A's. And you need a color for B and a color for C. So you're just gonna follow the letters and you do a color for each one. C, A, A, B, C. So when I start over, what color is it gonna be? You're just repeating the pattern. So it'll be light blue, light blue, purple, red. Then down here on the bottom, it just says create an AB pattern. And you know AB, it just goes back and forth. A, B, A, B. On this page, page six, it says, color all the candy that shows the number eight. So we're looking for things that represent the number eight. So um, we're gonna be doing this one a lot, so I'll do this one with you so you can kind of see. But for example, let's start with this one with the boxes. Let's count the boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This shows the number eight, because there's eight boxes, so we're gonna color that candy. Okay, next is the tally marks. Remember that, a, have we talked? A group of, um, okay, so on the tally marks, you're gonna count each line. One, two, three, four, and then this cross line right here, five. So this first group is five, six, seven, eight. Tally marks, um, something that we use to help count things quickly, so if you have a like a hundred things that you need to count and somebody's made um, tally marks, you can just count them quickly. That's why it's important to know if you see a set like this that has a cross down it like that, that's just five. So then you don't have to count every time um, that little group. Okay, so this shows eight, this shows eight. Let's count the domino. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Let's count the dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. This one says eight. So that's how you spell the number eight. So that's simple, right? We're just finding things that show the number eight. And that's all you have to do today for your math journal. I hope you have a super fun weekend and I'll talk to you soon.